Hello, my lovely warriors. I am filming from my car right now. So um, here is a peek of our beautiful February weather in Toronto. And that's Lake Ontario right there. And um, it is the smallest of the Great Lakes and it does not freeze. Although it was a little bit frozen the other day, day when we were down into our minus 20s and almost minus 30s. Um, it was pretty cold, but, uh, sitting here in my car, it got me to thinking about when I first was breaking up with the narcissist and the therapy, <laughs> the self therapy that happened in my car. And so I I haven't really thought about that for a while and it kind of popped back to me today and it was it was very integral in my healing and I want to share that with you today. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's coming from my car for one and um, it's not going to really talk about the narcissist. It's going to talk about you and uh, me and things that we can do and something I did personally to uh, get over the breakup and the relationship and kind of wrap my head around it all. So I'll get into that in just a quick minute. I just wanted to also mention, um, you may have noticed some changes to my YouTube page recently. I've been working on it to get it looking um, streamlined and neat and professional and I want it to be as functional and easy to navigate as possible for you so I hope you like the changes that I've been making I've also added a donate button I have actually had some DMS uh, from some loyal followers who have asked me if they could contribute and how they can help um, narc away uh, move forward with um, videos on YouTube and all the posts that I do on Instagram so I have created uh, an option to donate. It's uh, completely optional. Optional. You don't have to feel obligated by any means. If you can't afford to contribute, don't worry about it. My advice is always free. Um, but if you'd like to, if you had an extra five, ten dollars or any amount you saw fit that you wanted to contribute to the channel, it uh, is more than welcome. And anything I did receive donation wise would be put back into the channel. And whether it would be with uh, production values or with more resources, uh, maybe giveaways, uh, either way it would all come back to you viewers and followers and subscribers. So you will see a link uh, in the, the channel banner at the top of the YouTube channel. There is a link to my PayPal donate and also in the about me you'll see it there. So uh, thank you for everybody that uh, is uh, asking about how to donate and contribute. I really appreciate that and that's there for anyone that wants to use it. So let's get in down to business here. When I first went, was going through the breakup with the narcissist, the first few weeks, first few months, I was a wreck as we all were. I was crying every day. I was trying to wrap my head around it. I was just only learning about narcissism. And I found what I started doing, and it seemed to happen in my car a lot. And I guess it's because that's when I really had alone time. And um, I kind of had time to think because I wasn't really distracted. I started talking to myself. And I mean, I guess I've always been one to mutter a little bit here and there when I'm doing things, when I'm working, I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit to myself. And I think that's fairly normal. I think everybody does that to some extent. But when I went through the breakup, it, it became a whole different ballgame. I was legit talking to myself. I was having full on conversations and I... I really don't understand um, why that happened, but I knew it was an outlet and I knew I felt better. And uh, so, so my commute to work is about 20 minutes. And for that 20 minute drive, I would kind of just 
rant and rave. Sometimes I would cry. Sometimes I would be angry. Sometimes I'd be really happy and I'd have a good day. But what I started doing was I would record myself. I had uh, on my dashboard, I had one of those little magnet um, pop lock things that I could attach my phone to. And I would just plug it in there, turn my front facing camera on. And as I, would dr I was driving, I would just record myself. And so I have probably a couple of dozen of these 20 minute long videos of me going off about everything to do with the breakup. Now, the funny thing is I actually never watched these videos back. What I would do was upload them to my computer and delete them from my phone. And I still have all of the videos. I still to this day have not watched them back. Never, not once, not even one. And I think I'm at a point now being 14 months out of the relationship and feeling good and, and feeling healthy that I may choose to watch them. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid. But, I and I don't even know what I'm going to find on them, to be honest. But um, I, I am a little bit afraid in a way that it might trigger me. It might bring me back there. So I will test the waters a little bit to see emotionally how it affects me. If I do feel that it's negative, I, I won't bother to watch anymore. And I may never watch them again. I may, I may watch them. I may put them together and eventually upload them here to YouTube if I feel that they would be of any value uh, to you guys. But that, that would be later down the line. The, the, the main point that I'm trying to make here with this video is it was very therapeutic for me. I felt like I had just gone through a therapy session. And um, I did go to therapy um, when I first left a narcissist. Within a month, I, was, I went to my family doctor and I asked for a referral for therapy. I went to two different therapists. Um, one didn't work out at all. I saw her three times and I just didn't vibe with her. I didn't think that she was um, going to give me what I was looking for. So I went and tried a different therapist who was really good. She, she, she actually specialized in um, emotional abuse, emotional abuse of relationships. So she was very fine tuned to what I had been through and what I needed as far as recovery. And I do still see her, um, not as often as I was seeing her, but once a month or every six weeks, I might pop in just to get a little grounding and, and have a little um, reality check. And, you know, we don't even necessarily talk about the past and my abusive relationship anymore. But, and, and those things were all helpful. Very, very helpful. I absolutely recommend therapy. If you have an option for group therapy um, that specializes in emotional relationships, absolutely, 100% do that. I also do that and I still go to that weekly class just because I love the ladies so much. And again, even if we're not talking about the abuse that happened in the relationship that was narcissistic, you still learn a lot of things in regards to just healthy relationships, uh, setting boundaries, coping skills, um, how to trust your gut and to watch for red flags. So, so it's very, very helpful in that regard. But back, back to my car videos. So I don't know if you guys want to try this out, but when you start learning about narcissism and you start watching videos on YouTube, which is exactly what I did, I started watching YouTube, uh, YouTube videos and learning and immersing myself. And I think I've mentioned this before that I watched hours a day of videos about narcissism and narcissistic abuse and recovering from it. And so I think as I learned more, I became very verbal um, in, in the fact that it kind of sunk into my head more if I said it out loud. So I could watch somebody else saying everything, 
But kind of like when you remember when you were in school and you would study for a test, you could read the book a hundred times, but until you actually wrote it out and wrote your notes, you wouldn't really have it sink in and register with you. So I think this is kind of the same concept where I could actually talk about it and vent and say anything I wanted completely uncensored. I knew nobody was going to hear me. Nobody was going to see this video unless I chose to share it. So you can really let things out and you can really reprocess something you've watched and kind of explain things to yourself. It, again, it's along the same lines of uh, you've, you've heard write a letter to the narcissist, but never send it to them in your healing process. So when you're healing, another option is you can write a letter. And, and I had, um, I never really wrote a letter per se, but I did have some journals that I kept and of course never sent it to him. So, um, that, that's quite therapeutic as well. But, uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you want to give it a try, let me know. Let me know if you've maybe done it before. You've had a little personal video blog for yourself. And, uh, if you ever watched them back, how did you feel? Let me, uh, let me know how you, you guys get on with that. And I hope you find this video helpful and I love you all.